Hello everyone, my name is Majid Amini, a PhD student of mechanical engineering at the University of British Columbia in Canada. I am happy to present my work in title of Epoxy CNT ZNNIFE204 Multilayer Polymeric Nanocomposites for Electromagnetic Wave Absorption for I the widespread application of electronic devices and consequently magnetic waves have raised serious problems for live beings and other devices. The American Academy of Environmental Medicine has reported significant negative consequences for electromagnetic wave exposure. Moreover, electronic devices or electromagnetic interference or EMI may result in various electrical failures in, for example, aerospace electronics, medical, public transportation, and industrial touches. In this regard, developing effective EMI shielding materials is utmost of importance. As we can see here, the researcher used metals uh, for um, as a shield, then they used conductive polymer nanocomposites, and recently they used conductive polymers. But there is two main strategies that uh, can help us to improve um, uh, shielding effectiveness. The first one is using magnetic nanomaterials, or and the second one is using multilayer structure. As we can see in, the, in this um, uh, schematic by using these two strategies we can minimize the reflection and maximize absorption but why we want to minimize the reflection as we know the reflection can cause the secondary pollution so it's not uh, well suited for advanced application and we need the absorption dominant shields here we proposed an EMI absorber via multilayer assembly of epoxy films containing low concentration of uh, CNT uh, and uh, supermagnetic nanoparticles. Uh, the combination of ZN, NI, and FE204. The nanofillers were synthesized and fully characterized using FTIR, XRD, VSM, Raman, and FESCM. As we can see here, the specific magnetization for our nanoparticles reached to uh, 75, uh, uh, which is one of the most highest reported in the literature. Our findings show that uh, at the X-band frequency range, uh, the, electro the EMI shielding effectiveness uh, increases from uh, 15 decibel to 21 decibel as the number of layers increases from 2 to 4. More importantly, the fourth layer samples show an absorption coefficient of 0.61, translating to absorption of more than 60 percentage of the incident wave. This is one of the most highest, uh, this is one of the highest ever reported absorbance for uh, epoxy-based electromagnetic interference shields. Uh, this superior absorb absorbance can be due to multiple internal reflection inside the shield due to the presence of numerous uh, conductive layers and supermagnetic properties of uh, our nanoparticles, leading to enhanced magnetic to conclusion, I can say multi-layer structure of epoxy CNT ZN and IF in nanocomposites were produced at the same nanofiller ca content and thicknesses. Multi-layer structure not only improved uh, the EMI shielding performances, but also improved the absorption mechanism by multiple reflection. And finally, EMI SAE of four-layer epoxy CNT ZN and IF e films with a thicknesses of 2 mm reached uh, 20 decibel with an absorption coefficient efficient of uh, 0.6. We acknowledge the, the support of N National Science and Engineering Research Council of Canada, NSERC. The others acknowledge the Silks Okanagan Nation for the use of their traditional territory, uh, the land on which their research was conducted. Uh, and the others are grateful to NPNL Research Group members for supporting this project. Thank you so much.